EA Sports just saved Madden 24 with the best patch we have seen all season long. And we're going to be going through the patch notes with you as well as giving you um, some of the logic behind me saying they literally just saved the game. Um, there is so... This is one of those patches that's a quality of life patch and it actually makes a really big difference in the game. So let's go over it. Madden NFL 24 title update November 16th, 2023. Couple of X factors, all that fun stuff. Sauce Gardner is amazing. Demarcus Lawrence is amazing. Uh, Tony Pollard is uh, okay. I don't know what they gave him. Jukebox was kind of crazy to me. They downgraded Joe Burrow. Interesting. Uh, but let's get into it. Gameplay fixes. Here we go. Uh, this is big. We uh, they refix the issue causing the kick meter to menu after a pause and sometimes cover up the kick meter. Due to an integration issue merging the two previous title updates, a specific UI package did not reload appropriately in the latest patch and reintroduced this kicking meter menu issue. Awesome. Glad they fixed that. That is a needed fix. And that right there, they did that one thing. It automatically makes the game better. Um, so I love fixes like this where literally you just do one simple thing and it makes the game significantly better. Now, another thing here, fixing uh, an issue with avoidance logic, sometimes causing receivers to stop their route when running a slant route. We are going to test that in just a second, but this has been one of the biggest problems in this game, and you could make a legitimate argument that it cost TJ a chance at winning the most feared tournament when John Beast won the belt, because I believe one of the ways that he got stopped was his in route actually literally just stopped running right over the middle of the field against man coverage, mind you, and the man coverage was able to pick off the route. Fix an issue sometimes causing user control to defender to attempt an effort catch instead of an actual catch. Hopefully that makes catching picks better. Anything that we can do to get uh, catching the picks better, I'm all for. Fix an issue causing the poor visibility dynamic gameplay modifier. Awesome. Uh, fix an issue causing kick returner. To sometimes warp slide. Um, I I'm not sure, but this they might be talking about this here. I'm wondering if this is talking about how Henry fumbled in the chat in the tournament. If you guys didn't know when Henry was playing Kobo, I think I'm pretty sure I heard he was trying to slide when he went down and he totally uh, fumbled uh, while he's trying to give himself up. The bottom line is, if I hit the X button and I intentionally fall down. I can't be fumbling. I can't be warp sliding and all that stuff. So we need that to be fixed. Hopefully that's what they're talking about here. Fix several issues preventing safeties and man coverage from aligning properly. Yes. Um, it's not just this formation. So uh, hopefully, yeah, this is a big problem um, for me. When you're defending pro sets, it's already kind of a Mickey Mouse offense typically. And then all these alignment, the, the problem with most of the stuff if they could fix alignment for defense, it would make a big difference. This is one of the reasons Dollar Three Two is the best defense pretty much every single year. We've got a full ebook on it on the Patreon. I actually just dropped a massive update to it. It's one of the best defenses every year because it's hard to misalign Dollar because you can just base align it and you have um, a symmetrical look. Formations like Dime Two Three, Nickel Normal, Nickel Three Three Cub, Nickel Three Three, the alignment problems really are, are are really irritating to deal with and i if they could make those defenses align properly every time it would automatically improve defense so if they could literally just fix alignment which i'm sure it's more complicated than i think but if they could just fix the alignment side of defense like when you baseline and press at a dollar it you in my opinion your cornerback shouldn't line up completely shouldn't get burned on a streak like there's there's no counter to that so just stuff like that. Um, I really wish they would be more intentional about alignment issues because there are um, a significant amount of alignment issues every single year. Fix an issue causing the tight end to align offsides when using an audible to go from gun. Oh, man, there you go. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, tuning to increase interception catch chance. Lord, please provide for us. I hope so. I really hope so. Um that's the main stuff here. I want to look at the blocking because there we have had some blitzes come out since the last patch. It doesn't say anything here about this. I actually played some games. The A-gap stuff from Dollar still working. Fix an issue allowing the blitzing nickel back to be unblocked. Ooh, interesting. Okay, interesting. We'll have to test that out. 
fix issue causing pulling mainly mainly on run plays looks like yeah mainly on run plays fix it issue causing an elite edge rusher to double team to shed to the inside yeah yeah that's an issue Causing the defense line to sometimes get stuck in certain blocking animations for the entire play. Yes, that's an issue. Oh, so so hopefully what I'm seeing here is hopefully they increase sheds. And they really do need to increase sheds because how else are you supposed to play defense in this game? Honestly, this patch, as small as it truly is, this patch is pretty much a W across the board. Now let's test it. Let's get on the field. The biggest thing we need to test is the slant route. So... We're going to be coming out in PA counter go. A little slant crosser setup. Hopefully this is back. I got uh, cover one on the D, and we're just going to get this linebacker out of the field. So let's just do um, – let's do this combo. Oh, man, I messed it up. Oh, well. A little slant post. Let's check a look. So slant starts here. Man coverage runs all the way across the formation. Perfect. Exactly what we want. So here's what we can do with a combo like this now. What this allows, it just really opens up a lot of the opportunity because we could run a combo like this, and this becomes one of the best man-beating route combos in the game because the slant route won't stop in the middle of the field. He'll actually run to continue to beat his man coverage. So when we throw the ball, we can trust that he's going to continue running his route. As simple as this sounds, we actually got comments. I'm not even kidding you when I say some of the comments people have given about how realistic it is that slant routes stop – is absolutely absurd if you actually look at why they were stopping. They were stopping because they were getting pressed or bumped in man coverage, and they would literally just dumb out their route most of the time. So it's not that they're stopping to sit in zones like they should, um, and I don't know necessarily that a slant route should sit in a zone. I know a drag route should sit in a zone but uh, or a mesh route. But the point being here. Now we have something we can actually rely on, and this is a big deal because a lot of people are running double Mabel. The reason this is a big deal is because if you look at this slant route, um, a double Mabel is typically 5 and 30s on the sideline. Look at where this is going to get to. It's going to be about 15 yards, so it's going to get over the top of a 5-yard purple, but it's going to get underneath of a uh, flat route. This, honestly, as simple as the, uh, an adjustment as this is, this literally makes... It just adds more. It just adds more consistency. Um, I'm a huge fan of this patch, uh, at least right now. If they are able to improve the sheds, if they're able to improve interception catch chance, and these slant rats truly are never going to stop, this is awesome because now we actually have another route that we can actually use to attack defenses. So let's say, for example, your opponent's running, you know, something like this. This becomes a really good route combo because if you watch this uh, slant, you see how late in the play it gets over in this little pocket and you can throw it. So I love this change. Um, quality of life patch, but really did honestly make the game better, uh, at least for what I'm seeing right now. The fact that the kicking meters fixed, the fact that slant routes don't stop. The, 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 the simple fact route that you can use slant routes again in Madden 24, people are going to use a lot of – are going to – you're going to see offense change significantly. Um, and honestly, not necessarily better or worse. It's just people are going to be doing different stuff offensively, which is going to, again, add for a uh, more creative approach to playing the game. So I'm super, super excited uh, for the fact that the, the slant route doesn't stop in the middle of the field anymore. As little as it as it is, it is actually a big deal in the long term for quality of life of the game. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to become a better Madden player, join the Patreon. We're going to be updating ebooks with different stuff, dropping a brand new, um, dropping a brand new offensive ebook this weekend. So make sure you're in the Patreon. We already have over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks, and they've all seen several updates. You will have the most up-to-date version of every one of those ebooks if you become a member today for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.